Hi, thanks for checking out this video. What this video is going to be about is um the, another repair guy that we uh, help out with on some stuff, and he's got this. What this is, this is a Gallagher M1500. Um, it's an old, the old style one, but old purple colored case. But he's got one in the shop, and he's trying to uh, work on it, and he can't can't figure it out yet. So someone else has been in it before, and he doesn't know if the wiring's all done right. So. I didn't have a wiring diagram. He was asked if I had a wiring diagram. I said, no, I just do it by memory because I've worked on so many of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, um, pull that board out. I'm going to show him the wiring on the inside. I'm going to tell him which one's, which wire goes where. Now, this one's got a fuse on it, but just don't worry about the fuse. Some of them had them. Some of them didn't, so don't worry about that. But looking at from left to from right to left, from starting over here over to here, the first two are your power cord. And also, some, sometimes the wiring is red and black, sometimes it's red and brown, but don't really care about the colors, just go by the connections of which wire goes where. Um, so this third one is a black wire. It goes to one side of the capacitor, matters left or right, it goes to one side. And its red wire is next, it goes to the other side of the capacitors. Because you got you know a set of four up here and a set of four right and left. So the black basically your black wires gonna stay on one side and red wires will stay on the other side for connections. And then you got a, a wire from the one side of the primary goes over from the left side of the primary over to this far left tab here. And this red wire here goes to the uh, you know the, the left side of the capacitor to match left to right, like I said, as long as it's on one side. And then after that, you, that's it for the wiring. Other than that, you've got two set of jumper wires that tie the two capacitors together. But other than that, that's that's it. Um, I think what he had going on on his was he said green light would come on, it would charge up, but it wouldn't discharge, wouldn't click. But he could take a, a screwdriver across the capacitor, they were holding a hell of a charge. So for whatever reason, it wasn't discharging. And he thinks someone got in there and fooled with the wiring before unplugged things and plugged things back in, but didn't plug it in correctly. So that's what this video is mostly for. But since we've got this unit in here for repair, I guess we'll make a repair video out of it at the same time. So uh, we're going to... Don't know what's wrong with this one, so let's just plug it in and see what it does. I did notice that uh, this one, the... the uh, plate or the clamp that holds these plates in place was broken. And all those metal um, stack of plates that go in front of the transformer were all laying loose inside the box, so it needs a new clamp. So, we'll put that on there first. Put that on there. Some people think these are magnets. These aren't, they're not magnets themselves. They're just a stack of thin metal plates made out of either aluminum or steel or something. They're part of the core to help the transformer out to transfer power between the primary and secondary side of the transformer, but they through induction of the transformer itself and but they're not actually magnets themselves people's like oh i got those stack of magnets like they're not magnets they're just metal plates sucks when they're all apart like this some
Oh, now let's plug it in and see what it does. This bulb's a little bit burnt out, but that's not going to keep it from running. Okay, it doesn't come on at all. So we'll test power coming in. See, it's 120 volts right here. 122, so we're getting power in. So it fuses fine. So we'll test. Make sure the passers are nice and tight. They seem fine. Test the thermal piece over here. See if it reads good. Oh, that's bad. We'll test that. Or we'll replace that here in a second. We'll test these capacitors. These are 30 microfarad 900 volt DC pulse grade capacitors. So we'll test those. Should be, should read 60 because they're tied in parallel. So they add together 51. So those are a little weak. It's probably reading about 25 a piece roughly. So not greatest, but it'll be good just for testing wise and running it and see how everything else performs let's um change out that thermal piece on there and see what that see what that does to help it out and if you need parts for these units we do sell parts we use stock a lot of parts but if there's a part that you need that we don't have and get your price on and order it for you it's not a big deal to do that but if you just got one you want to get worked on, we'll definitely go through it, test it, fix it, what needs to be fixed. Do a load test on it, let it run for a while and make sure everything holds up like it's supposed to. And then call it done. Oh yeah, that thing just disintegrated, look at that. That's what's left of that little thing. And this is what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to look like that. Solid, not all burnt and broken up. So hopefully the rest of the thing's still good, but we'll find out. Oh, that their dog, the babysitter, that Minnie, she's back. George is like, this sucks. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens now. Nice and hot there. Kind of voltage we get out of it. 9.3 kV. 9.4. So just shy less than 10,000 volts. So it's a nice heavy spark from it too. So we will um, change the capacitors while we're in there. Because these look to possibly be original. Don't quite know, but they definitely have some age to them.
a new light bulb in there as well. Oh, it's nice and green. This one's basically done is putting new capacitors in there, which we can do that after we talk to the customer, make sure that they're good to go. But, um, well, if you got a fence chart that needs to be worked on, if you'd like to send it in to us, we'll be glad to take a look at it for you. And um, But in the meantime, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and until next time, we'll see you guys later on.